Here's your Money Briefing for Friday, September 1st. I'm J.R. Whalen for The Wall Street Journal. As many companies re-examine their staffing, the good news is they're not laying off employees. But the bad news is they're offering workers a chance to stay, but reassigning them to less than ideal positions. Wall Street Journal reporter Ray Smith joins me. So, Ray, first of all, what do we mean by reassigning employees? It basically means alerting an employee that their old role has been eliminated and that they will now be moved into a different role, one that's not of their choosing. And if they don't take the reassignment, they don't have any option but to leave. So it sounds like the employees don't have much say in this. They don't have any say in it except to whether they are taking the assignment or they are declining it. And if they're declining it, they don't have another job offered. Now, this idea of reassigning employees, is this something new? It's not something new. Involuntary reassignments have been a way for companies to move people, for instance, to growing parts of the business from slower growing parts of the business. It's happening now in large part because of the uncertain economy and businesses are really trying to cut costs. And if they turn to layoffs, they have to pay severance costs. So that's a big expense. It can be thousands of dollars per person. And so reassigning people is a way to save on having to pay those severance costs. Businesses are also trying to retain people as well if they're putting them in other spots because it costs them more to hire somebody and train them and onboard them. Some of this is due to the changing labor market as well. The job market is still relatively tight, but not as tight as it was a year or two ago. And so for some of these employees, they're staying put because they really are nervous that they won't be able to find a new job as quickly. And companies know this. So how are workers being affected by this, by not being fired, but then being boxed into a role they might not like? As you can imagine, it's probably, you know, it's a range of emotions. The people that I talked to said they had everything from relief that at least they weren't laid off and they still had a job to anger. They were just angry that they had no say in where they were going and what they were being told to do, basically told to do or else. Some people had dread that the company was sort of sending them some kind of message about what they truly think of them. People said it took a a toll on their mental health even. There's confusion because sometimes people are thrown into roles where they don't even have the kind of expertise that role requires, but they're expected to sort of sink or swim and they end up floundering. So it can really do a number on one's self-esteem. You know, some people do accept it and they're grateful to still be employed and they also figure maybe there's another job I can find at the company if I stay long enough I don't have to do this forever, so maybe I'll find another job within the company. So some hang on in the hopes that they can find something else. Yeah, so a lot of stuff going through people's minds. When this scenario comes up, are there signs that they could look for regarding the motive behind what the company has in mind? Some signs that people should look out for include a reassignment that is basically a demotion. It's, it's a job that is far below the pay or skill level that you currently have. Another is being offered a role that requires relocating when your boss knows moving really isn't a real option for you. Another sign is being reassigned to a division that's rumored to be on the chopping block. So those are just some things to look out for. But if the employee could be uneasy with this, is the company at risk of losing the worker if that person is unhappy with the new job or if they feel it might not be a good fit with their career? Absolutely. They are at risk of that. But some companies' attitude is we're willing to take that risk. We're willing to accept that some people will not agree to this and will leave. They're almost counting on it, although no companies will say that publicly. But they're ready for that. They're prepared for that. But I guess at the same time, this could be a way for somebody to diversify their skills and their input to the company. Absolutely. And some people view it that way. Um, They unexpectedly find they like the role and they're learning new skills and it can take them on a completely different career path. Now, you spoke to several career professionals. What questions do they suggest that employees ask their manager if a reassignment is put on the table? Yeah, this is really tricky because you really hope that you have a manager that can be pretty candid with you. But we were told that maybe you should try to get some feeling about like why this reassignment is happening and also what the reassignment means for their career path. And so you're trying to find out if this is really, you know, nothing personal um, because otherwise you can go down a rabbit hole of paranoia. 
you just want to sort of ask questions that sort of say, how will this affect my career path? That's Wall Street Journal reporter Ray Smith. And that's it for your money briefing. Today's show was produced by Ariana Ospiro. I'm your host, J.R. Whalen. Our supervising producer is Melanie Roy. Aisha Al-Muslim is our development producer. Scott Salloway and Chris Zinsley are our deputy editors. And Falana Patterson is the Wall Street Journal's head of news audio. We'll be off on Monday for Labor Day, but we'll be back with a new show on Tuesday morning. Thanks for listening.